Este 23 de junio pasará a la historia. Después de más de 50 años de conflicto, el país inicia hoy su camino hacia la paz, luego de que la guerrilla de las FARC y el gobierno anunciaran el cese del fuego bilateral y definitivo, uno de los últimos puntos de la agenda en el proceso de negociación. Twenty-third of June, 2015. I was shooting a documentary about Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, and by chance, I became part of the delegation that went with him in one of his peacemaking missions. Back then, Colombia was different. Según los primeros informes, una cuadrilla de la columna móvil atacó cruel y deliberadamente al grupo de militares. Señores de las FARC, llegó la hora de acabar la guerra. Pero en la mesa somos dos partes. Y las aspiraciones nuestras son por completo diferentes. Tres meses y 25 días duró la tregua entre las Fuerzas Armadas y Militares de Colombia y las FARC. Hoy el presidente Juan Manuel Santos es fue... Bilateral. Pues bien, estos sectores lo que han dicho es que es urgente parar la máquina de víctimas, que ya no se puede permitir en Colombia ni la muerte de un guerrillero, ni la muerte de un soldado, ni la muerte de un campesino, ni de un indígena. A bloody war had raged in Colombia for 50 years. 250,000 lives lost. Seven million victims. La paciencia se nos agota. Sabemos bien que lo único que espera la oligarquía de nosotros es una entrega humillante. Y si quieren la paz, tienen que demostrarlo con hechos y no con palabras. For five years, the two sides had been negotiating, trying to reach an agreement. Shri Shri arrived in Colombia, where he was awarded the country's highest civilian honor. Besides being the spiritual leader to millions of people, Shri Shri had been part of conflict resolution in more than 10 countries across Asia, Africa, and Europe. This was the first time he got involved in a Latin American country. We weren't sure how Colombia would receive a different view of the conflict. His first meeting was with President Juan Manuel Santos. We never knew what happened inside. It was a closed door meeting. It was supposed to last only 10 minutes, but he ended up staying for an hour. Later, Sri Sri met with a group of victims, people who had been deeply affected by the conflict. Inflicting suffering on others, suffering will not go. Revenge will eye for eye, tooth for tooth, will ojo not ojo, lead you anywhere. Y diente por diente, no, te, no nos va a llevar a ningún lado. Eye for eye. He told them something that must have been difficult to hear. That in that moment, they could choose between justice and peace. I met with Sri Sri Ravi Sankar in Bogota, our capital city, with my consent. He met in Havana, in Cuba, with the negotiators of the FARC guerrillas. The FARC, we cannot fall from four to seven. And now it was time for the other part, meeting with the FARC peace delegation. This is the Revolution Square. Three days of talks between Latin America's oldest and largest guerrilla organization and an Indian spiritual leader. What would the meeting be like? We were all anxious. Shri Shri, on the other hand, didn't seem worried. Vivimos, diríamos así, como la contradicción de buscar la paz teniendo que enfrentar la guerra. 
lives have been lost on both sides. And there is a lot of mistrust from the government and from yourself. At the end of the first day, the Dutch member of FARC still had her doubts. Do you think spirituality is possible without social justice? No. Social justice is the first step of spirituality. In fact, spirituality brings social justice. They are the one goes with the other. We need to look forward, not just sit and brood over there yesterday. Es posible que esto eh, pase sin que haya verdad, sin que haya eh, justicia? No, truth and reconciliation is needed. No, la paz y la reconciliación, la, eh, la verdad y la reconciliación son necesarias. But not revenge. The press department of the prison called. However, it seemed that Shri Shri had won their trust. It was confirmed that two high-ranking FARC leaders, key for the negotiating process, would attend. Ivan Márquez and Pablo Catatumbo, both the war names. During this session, they exposed their perspective on the conflict. Everybody is a victim. It's not that one is culprit. When you see someone is culprit, you demand them to be punished. But when you understand that the culprit is also a victim, so everyone is a victim. For the sake of peace, we should walk one extra mile. They look, they look so soft, you know? Everybody? At the end of the second day, Shri Shri decided to go against all protocols and invited the FARC members to the Indian Embassy. The fruit of it what the guerrilla leaders didn't know was that Shri Shri was going to guide them into a meditation. Shake your hands. So you relax, you make your body flexible. Meditation is a journey from movement to stillness, sound to silence. It was the third day. Time was running out. All the members of the FARC and all the members of the FARC for this historical meeting. Send this to Indian ambassador. You have his number? Yes. One thing I want to add, like what we spoke yesterday, the FARC adopted Gandhian principle to attain social justice. We can have our political goals, whatever your political idea that you should have. And not give up the cost. But with a new experiment, he offered them a revolutionary thought. With his peaceful resistance, Gandhi had liberated an entire subcontinent without surrendering and without giving up. But for the FARC, it was not easy to accept. Decir que en esta reunión vamos a adoptar el principio de la no violencia. You know, if you send the message that to is not violent, if government does even one person later on does any harm to one person, the entire international community will take the government responsible. And will solve it. 
You are the person because they will say, look, these people are doing resistance with Gandhi and Prince. Take the time, but don't sit here. As soon as it is done, you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then you will not be able to do it. And if it is done, then and unexpectedly, the FARC leaders express some hope. Ojalá podamos los colombianos abrazar pronto el principio gandiano de la no violencia. Coincidimos con el maestro Chancar que en el fondo todos somos víctimas. Y si partimos de esa comprensión, podremos dejar atrás, amarrada en el pasado, una historia triste de violencia que no ha de repetirse porque la sociedad ha dicho nunca más. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Though their declaration was cautious, Shri Shri looked happy. Maybe he knew it was just a question of time. Anunciamos nuestra disposición de ordenar un cese al fuego unilateral. This time, the guerrillas maintained their ceasefire for a whole year as negotiations continued. Until at last, Colombia celebrated its first day of peace. And war or conflict begins when communication breaks down. Peace is not just the absence of conflict, absence of bloodshed. It is a positive state that we all nurture within us. It's the inner peace that can bring peace in family, that can bring peace in society, and ultimately in the world. <laughs>